Today we're going to be talking about what you can look for in your replays so that you can correct your mistakes and get better faster. This is Rail, it's a doubles pro gameplay. My teammate has yet to spawn in, so right off the bat I have a choice. Do I rush overshield or do I rush sniper? Let me explain my thought process. If I rush overshield and I don't get there first, it's a guaranteed death for me. I can't outshoot two players versus one, let alone two players with an OS. But if I go for the sniper rifle, and I don't get there and they get it first, I can actually have a chance because maybe they aren't a good shot. Maybe I can outshoot them and take the snipes away. Luckily for me, I was able to get the sniper and get the kill right there and then rush for the overshield. Someone on Facebook asked me, you know, what do you look for in your replays? And it's a really good question. If you knew exactly what to look for, then you might be able to get better really fast. So I wanted to share with you some of the things that I look for. Right here, the initial mistake that I see is the fact that I just didn't hightail it out of there after that first kill. I knew the second player was going to come and get me. It's a 2v1 situation. I should have juked and just turned around and sprint and tried to get away through the teleporter. That's one of those things that I look at. I don't look at my accuracy. I almost always overlook accuracy in these replay reviews because it's purely dependent upon how much you've practiced. If I've played Halo every day for two weeks, my accuracy will be much better than if I just played a couple days a week. I like to focus on mechanical decisions, basically decisions that are made in your head, logically, and not with reaction time or the accuracy of your thumbs. These mechanics include map movement, and this is really important. Look and see if you were struggling to find enemies, and if so, why. Next, look at your map movement, place uh, you know, the positions of advantage that you have on your opponent. Can you see them first? Do you have more cover? Do you have more escape routes? Do you have more height? Power weapons on the map? Are you controlling them, etc.? So I grabbed the next OS right here, which is nice, but unfortunately, I'm going to make a really big mistake here. I want you to notice I run out of ammo, but I don't pay attention to it. I should have been reloading that entire time, yet I, I jump like right out with one shot, miss that one shot, and that could have gotten me killed right there, and it pretty much wasted the overshield that I didn't get out of there sooner. So I want you to notice, one shot left. I should be reloading right here. Should be reloading right here. This has nothing to do with accuracy. And then I jump out and make a really bad decision. In the replay, I can figure that out. In the gameplay, your head is in a different place. You can't view things back at the same time that you're doing them. Next, I try to look at the choices of which fights I challenge and lost. If I challenge a fight and lose, I try to pay close attention to why I lost. Did the enemy have a better weapon, better sightline, better position, or a better shot? From here, I can focus on making better mechanical decisions, i.e. decisions that don't rely on my accuracy. A really smart player will almost always outplay a player with really good accuracy because the smart player will be making map movement choices and engagement choices and basically overall position choices that will destroy his opponent. I end up getting the sniper rifle here and I push in, which is kind of probably not the best choice. I had map control and I just sacrificed it. We'll go through the teleporter, and there's no radar also to note in this game, which is important. And coming up is one of the worst decisions in the game, and I can tell you why here in a second. I'm going to challenge around this corner. Why is this a really bad choice, and why do I need the replay to tell me? Look where my teammate is. He's all the way over there. If I looked before I challenged, I would have figured out that the enemy, they're right around this corner. They spawned right there. I jump around, I challenge, I focus the wrong guy, not the one-shot guy. I lose the sniper rifle. And I only trade with one guy. That is a horrible engagement. And to lose the sniper rifle and the height control like that was just silly. Uh, and it's always tough when you're looking at your own replay. Because in essence, if you knew exactly what you were doing wrong always, it would be super easy to fix, right? The best way is just to start watching your own replays. Watch other players' replays. And try and watch pro streams like ninjas. Bit by bit, you're going to learn and see mistakes faster. Now we're controlling the height right now. I have the sniper rifle, but I'm going to make another mistake here in just a second. I can assume where the enemy is going to spawn just by the information that I'm given, and I'm going to die here. Why? Because I didn't know about a sight line that I should have known about, and the replay helps me know about, and in further gameplays, I can figure it out. So let's check this out here. When I go inside the ring, I can sort of figure out that the enemy is not going to spawn over on the OS side. They're probably going to spawn on the sniper side of the map. And because of that, I'm in a really bad position with the sniper rifle inside the ring with that really big sight line right there. Only by watching the replay am I going to figure out that that was a bad position to hold, and that was a map movement choice. Here we're going to drop down and try and get the OS. We got many of the OS spawns in the game. That was a really big hiccup. Sorry about that. Walking away from this video, what should you look for? Your decisions that you make in-game. This is map control, this is weapon control, and more importantly, this is the engagements. If you engage, did you win or did you lose? If you lose, try and figure out why you lost. Right here, I jump when I'm one shot. 
Huge mistake, and I've told you all not to do that before. If I would have just stayed on the floor, this little cover on my left would have saved me, and I could have just walked right backwards onto the floor and probably gotten away. But a panic jump, he gets a really nice shot on my head, chrome dome, boom, you're done. So, when you're looking at your replays, I want you to overlook accuracy. If you just sell yourself short and say, well, I missed the shot in that engagement, so next time I just won't miss that shot. You can't guarantee that because every engagement's different. What you can guarantee is, I know this spot on the map is not safe to be in. I know I shouldn't hang out in this place. And I know I shouldn't engage around a blind corner like that. And that'll help you really fast. I think this is applicable to all FPS shooters. And I know there's more you could talk about here, but I wanted to keep it quick, short, and sweet. Thanks for watching. My name is BBK Dragoon. If you have questions or more things you'd like to add, leave it down below. Have a good day. I'll talk to you later. Peace.